And we're back. And it is time for the castle. Uh, I ended up doing the grinding. Because, why not? Might as well top off the levels. Um, got all three of them up to level 8. Looked at the map. And hopefully, I might actually be able to do this in one go. I also... Picked up some silver mirrors for everybody in case we have to fight the Medusa. Yeah, there's a Medusa. So, without further ado, let's go to the end game. Hm. No, look at that. Andre woman. Yeah, let's be nice to them. Yes. All right. There we go. Now we got a nice disguise. Over here. So basically, the way the castle works is... Oh, no area. Okay, you've got four quadrants, obviously. And up through this wall here is a hedge maze. And you have to get through the hedge maze into the central tower. So basically, Valhevo Castle is Otten Bailey. I mean, it's a it's a keep surrounded by a hedge maze, surrounded by an outer castle area, and we're in the outer castle area. Um, the map that I pull up quite often to show off the general layout doesn't really do it justice but let me pull it over one more time and and so basically what we've got is those two blocks in the middle that Valhavo is printed over, that would be the keep. And then that bigger area would be the hedge maze, and then the bigger area still around it would be the area that we're in currently. And... So, we are currently in the southeast quadrant, and... I'm going to take care of a little bit of business in here. Yeah, this place is enormous. Looks like they shaved his head and bulked him up a little bit. Oh, we can release him. I guess we'll take you with us. If you don't, he raises the alarm and tries to get you killed. Oh! Oh my goodness. Why is everything like this? Game. You. They really liked this code wheel. Okay, so we've got bow and arrow, and flag, and upside down cross. Is that what they were trying to do? And then big old T, that, and that. That's not right. Not right. Uh, that's... Wait a minute. Could be an...
Should be. There's a hint book. This is R H. I'm not even seeing an R. S. Q R. Okay, so there is a bug in the Deathic. That is supposed to be an R. So it should be R. Good thing I've got the hint book. That would have been bad. R H O D I A. Right. So that's not good. Both of them. Both sides goof that up. Okay. R H O D I A. <sighs> Welcome to the hedge page. This really kind of sucks. Now, I. Either this one or the other one. Yeah. Poisonous. Hmm. Placed strength, fire resistance. Hmm. Like we got lucky. Um, um. As long as I can keep I mean obviously I have a map but that's faster also to make matters worse straight ahead right in that spot right in front of us is an invisible teleporter that teleports you to a random location in the maze so needless to say this is a titanic pain in the neck and here we are in the inner sanctum. Like the Sorcerer's Tower, uh, I remember going through this, not really following a map and just kind of stumbling through as a kid, and it was a much more of a nightmare then. Um, right now, we're actually almost done. Go through an invisible wall. Okay, encounter. Save. Unequip the shield, ready the mirror. There we go. Unequip the shield, ready the mirror. Um, unequip the sword, ready the mirror. Yeah, you're not going to be doing anything. Unequip the shield, ready the mirror. Equip the quarter staff, ready. And the Wanda missile. Unequip the wand, ready the mirror. Alright, the reason we're doing this 
is because Medusa. Hmm? Bought these mirrors just for this fight. You can completely avoid this fight. It's entirely optional. have a sword but the reason we equip the mirrors because there we go Boop. otherwise she'll turn you to stone and you'll die and you do have to be careful because the snakes in her hair are poisonous and can poison and kill you and we don't have neutralized poison So, that's that. Yeah, like I said, it's a completely optional fight. Um, you can entirely avoid it, and really are... You might as well avoid it. There's At this point in the game, there's no reason to go through that fight. But I wanted to show it off. Uh, we will be meeting Medusa, who says. We will be meeting them in later games. Um, one plays a rather prominent role in the next game. Um, uh, anyway, one plays a prominent role later on. And uh, you basically have to have a mirror or else you're screwed. Um, in this game, you can get a plain mirror for 10 gold or a silver mirror for like 40, but we're drowning in money. Partially because of that glitch, but also because, dude, the game gives you too much money. By the end game, you've got more than enough. And in Secret of the Silver Blades, there's a lot of Medusa, but you can get silvered shields, which let you have a shield that also reflects. It's really kind of handy. Anyway, enough babbling. Uh, we saved, and let's go upstairs. Here, upper level. And, okay. Over to the east, in that room is a trapdoor room where you can fall down into the Medusa pit. And that just... And apparently you can look down the trapdoor and get turned... Oh. Uh... Hmm? Hmm. Nice. Okay, this is Genhira. Kill the messenger. Um. Oh, okay. Awful evil magic user. Okay. Unidentified one. Okay. All right. When we go through this, we will face Tyron Thraxus. His guards and his minions. Um, I won't spoil the fight, but oh, wrong guy. Let's drop a bless. 
Let's do this! Yeah! Yeah! Now look, there's a pool of radiance. Pyranthraxus. Which I always thought was a really cool name that I, uh, slightly modified and used as an internet handle for years. Ah, uh, Conqueror. Ceiling's been torn away. Oh, well, you know, there's a reason for that. Ancient bronze dragon. Rounded by a fiery... Bronze dragon? Oh, yeah! He's a bronze dragon. I forgot about that. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Think about it. Um... Because, if you look at the manual, which has the same cover as the box, good, go, full of radiance, yeah, dude fighting a dragon. Uh... Right. Um, two guards. Okay, I guess I don't want to talk. Bunch of eighth level fighters. Wow, glad I leveled. Um, no Tyrant Thraxis yet? No Tyrant Thraxis yet. Okay, um, yes. Fast lightning. Well, well, let me just be the first to say I'm glad I picked up a mage. Odd. That's two of them paralyzed. Oh, Wand of Lightning Bolts. Nice. Now, they made it sound like there was only two guards. Okay. Okay, that that's two of them. Paralyzed. poorly aimed. I have that one dude down there. There we go. Oh.
69. Oh, Jesus. Sixty-eight, you're good. Nine, you're good. Okay. Bunch of rings. Oh my goodness, it's all magic. Ring, foot tail. Let's see, we got uh, armor class negative five. Negative five. Seven. So it is probably a ring of fire resistance or something. Oh, wait. Uh, 1d10 plus 8. 1d10 plus 8. Uh, 1d10 plus 8. Okay, so it's just a two-ended sword plus. Plate mail. 3. Three. Okay, so it's plate mail plus two, and two-handed sword plus two, and probably, like I said, a ring of fire resistance, or something like that. Not cursed. Not that much. All right. No, I don't want to try. I wonder what happens if you join. I've never done that. I wonder what happens if you join. Um, well, I have it saved right before this. So I might do a, a bonus video after this and we'll find out, but we're, we're not joining. I think if you join, you just up and lose. 
There's Tyrant Thraxus, uh, negative 4 armor class, uh, 80 hit points. And it's just him. Oh, yeah. He breathes lightning. That missed. So, yeah, the, uh, the Dyrothraxus is uh, kind of a badass. Yeah, that's uh, not going to do anything there, champ. I'm not going to do anything, champ. Well, we won. Kind of a Pyrrhic victory. Dead. Unconscious. Conscious. Dead. Yeah, Tyrant Thaxis is kind of a dick. Oh, hey, and there's only four of us left. Oh, I think if you join Tyrant Thraxus, you're all on his side for the final battle. I think it's just an end game. Yes. Yes, we do need some healing. Uh, let's start with... You are dead. Um, okay. What? Give me none of money. You just need a heal. And you just need a heal. You need a raise death. Oh, the ring of protections plus three. Wow. 
Nice. Wow, a lot of experience. It's in jewelry. It's in jewelry. And there we go. That's the game. We beat Tyrant Thraxus. And you can continue wandering around uh, doing stuff if you want. But, uh, yeah, that's everything. If there's any blocks you didn't clear, you can go clear those. But, uh, we cleared everything. There is literally nothing left in the game except, uh, running around in the wilderness. Because we did all of those. And we beat Tyrant Thraxus. And... That's it. Game over. Um, and what you can do is, you know, suffer with your, uh, well, he's got an 18 con now, with your, uh, lower constitution, because you were, you, you were raised from the dead. Um, but, uh, that's it. Um, the game has... The ability to uh, export the characters and carry them over into Curse of the Azer Bonds. I won't be doing that because I'm doing something different in Curse. And uh, it would be a huge boon to take over level 6, 7, and 8 characters. But, well, and on top of it all, 177,000 experience points. Um, that would make you... Not quite level 9. So you could really grind up experience points and transfer over and then, you know. Oh, yeah, Wizzo's got 135,000 experience points. That would easily make him level 7 to start with. Uh, St. Bart also has 130... 137 and... Yeah, uh, my mages would be one level shy of level 8. One experience point shy of level 8. The clerics would be one shy of level 8. Yeah. So it would be a huge boon to carry over, but we're doing something different, and that's okay. So I'm going to futz around with a couple things and uh, might do one more little bonus video, just trying some weird stuff. Camp, save, a. But uh, until then, I'll catch you all later. So have a good one.